Welcome back to Fox 9's 10 at 10. Heads up, Minnesota taxpayers. We are all buying a nice wooded property in Wisconsin, and you probably didn't even know about it. Turns out you're not alone. But now some think that you're getting a raw deal. Political reporter Theo Keith went to investigate where your money is going. Minnesota, it's not easy getting to this land you're buying. First, you go across the St. Croix River into Wisconsin and turn down this dirt road. That's where the driving part ends. We're gonna go on a little hike. Getting there takes a walk through the woods north of Hudson. Best seen from the air, it's two acres of heavily wooded, steep sloping Wisconsin land. Not what you'd expect Minnesota taxpayers to buy for $345,000. It's an absurdity. I think they should scratch their heads and wonder if their, their taxpayer dollars are better spent over in Minnesota. During repeat trips to Hudson, we talked to neighbors, county officials, and a landowner and looked over a stack of documents and maps. We found a complicated deal that government officials stand by. It started in 2012 with the St. Croix River Bridge. MnDOT set aside $2 million in mitigation money so St. Croix County could preserve green space. The county has since bought 170 acres from two families for a new park called Eckert Blufflands. But county officials also had their eyes on this much smaller two-acre property to the south. And by spring, they faced a time crunch to spend the remaining money or give it back to Minnesota. Enter Gary Zappa. The land is landlocked and it's been 20 years. Zappa owns eight acres on the river and wants to build a home there. But he's never convinced his neighbors to let him build a driveway over their land. So Zappa sells two acres to the county and agrees to limit construction on his remaining land to one home. The county gives him the right to that driveway and pays him 345 grand. If Zappa gets his house, he promises to donate almost all of the purchase price back to St. Croix County for the new park. One no and the rest yes is so. It just passes. The county board overwhelmingly agreed to it in June, but the questions had just started. St. Croix County never got an appraisal on Zappa's land, as it has on some other properties it's bought with Minnesota's money. And the county paid many times what its assessor says the land is worth. Zappa's entire eight-acre property is assessed at 70 grand. The county paid nearly five times that for one-fourth of the land. Community Development Director Ellen Denzer says the county got another valuable thing, a guarantee that no one would build multiple houses nearby. And, she says, fair market price for land near the river is almost always above assessed value. I don't think that applies. I think what applies is what we want to do and what the goals are, which is preservation. Should Minnesota taxpayers feel comfortable I think they should be very comfortable, yeah. Critics see a different reason for the county's interest. Zappa's land is next to a 28-acre conservancy park with trails and 700 feet of beach. Denzer was asked about it at June's county board meeting. Do we have access to the river at all? I, would suggest, that, I would suggest that yes, we would. We've looked at it. But just one problem. The conservancy is private, owned by a land trust and a homeowners association. And the neighbors? didn't know anything about this till after the vote. And all of us full stop said, wait a minute, that's private property, that's ours. Denzer says it was a misunderstanding and she always knew the conservancy would not become public. She says the new county park already meets the river in two other spots. I never had any conversation with anyone about us wanting to use that property. So back to that promise Zappa made to donate money to St. Croix County if he gets his house. Some supervisors wanted that promise to be a guarantee. If he builds his house and we don't get the 340, we made a stupid mistake. But the county's lawyer said a contract would be an inappropriate use of MnDOT's money. So what your fear is, is that we'd be subject, we'd be laundering the money. <laughs> <laughs> Can we strike that language? Zappa tells me he's still willing to donate a major chunk back to the county, which he expects to be within 5% of his $340,000 promise. Given the controversy, we asked him, would he ever walk away? It's a very good question. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's still at this point worth it, but it's, 
It's getting to that point soon. MnDOT officials declined an on-camera interview, but they have repeatedly stood behind St. Croix County's handling of the deal. A MnDOT spokesman says the Zappa property was an eligible use of Minnesota's money, and MnDOT believes that St. Croix County has always followed the terms of the agreement. As we leave Hudson, there's one last twist to this deal. It's still not technically done. Denzer says it's basically a paperwork delay. And you think it will finally close in November? You're, you're confident that? At this point, I am. At that point, the county would have its park. Zappa could be on the way to his future house. And if so, the county could get his donation. Deep in the Wisconsin woods, Minnesota helped make it all possible. In Hudson, Theo Keith, Fox 9.